Hi all. I've got this uh, Black and Decker cordless drill. Uh, it's a 20 volt lithium battery. I think I caught it on Amazon quite a while ago. It was cheap. It was like 19 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, model LDX. 120C LDX 120C uh, main thing is make sure you buy some type of cordless drill it just makes life so much easier uh, they don't have as much power as a corded drill you know a drill with a cord but they usually do the job on most things and it's just a lot easier, you know, you can walk around and uh, do jobs real quick without having to plug in a cord and things like, like that. So I'm not saying go out and buy this brand, but get some type. You know. Usually the Black & Deckers are the cheapest brand. I bought their weed eater and leaf blower. It came in the same box and uh, it actually used the same battery. That's nice when they use the same battery. Let's see what this says here. It's got a light on it. Uh, my experience is the light doesn't really work all that much because it doesn't come on until you start to press the press the trigger. So I don't really think that helps much. Uh, position clutch. That's this twist thing here. You, you know, you can twist it. Sometimes you don't need full power on the drill or the screw. You know, mainly when you're putting in screws with this thing if you have full power you know it it blows the screw right through the wood so it's nice to loosen this up a little bit so the screw stops when it's uh, when the head hits the wood okay so let's check this thing out Pretty good manual. You really don't need this, you know. It's, they're pretty simple to use. You know. Power supply. This type of power supply, that's the same type that my uh, weed eater has, and it's kind of a pain. It would be nice if it had a good heavy base. Yeah, that's the same exact battery you see this this just slides on here like this and then you plug this end in so then the light comes on so let's, let, let's see what this says here flashing green light I guess that means it needs to be charged. Solid green light, it's fully charged. Red light means it's charging, I guess. We'll see. I guess that's I guess that's where the manual comes in handy. Huh? Let's see what that flashing light means. Charging procedure. Black and Decker chargers are designed to charge black and decker battery packs in three to four hours. Depending on the pack being charged. Plug in the charger to an outlet. Insert the battery pack. The green LED will flash indicating that the battery is being charged. The completion of a charge is indicated by a green LED remaining on continuously. 
the pack is fully charged. Doesn't say nothing about red. It says here, the, uh, leaving the battery in the charger. The charger and battery pack can be left connected with the green LED glowing indefinitely. The charger will keep the battery pack fresh and fully charged. Yeah, but uh, it might be drawing power 24 hours a day, even though it's charged. So it's best to unplug these so you're not wasting power. I think that, that they call those zombies. Like uh, when you have your VCR plugged in to your wall outlet, even though the VCR is off, it's still drawing power. Okay, you're still using electricity. That's why you know you use your remote to turn on your VCR, right? Well, your VCR has to have power in order. Your VCR has to be on in order to recognize your remote being clicked. So it may not be on fully as it would be if you turn the power button, but there's still a little bit of power. So. It's always best to turn these off or uh, plug these things into a power surge, you know, a six plug power surge thing and then turn off the power surge. Okay, so let's check out the drill here. Oh, it, it's small compared to, compared to the one I, compared to the one I just had, so. Here's my hand. So I I got a fairly a fairly big hand. So okay, so uh, let's see how big this is. That's seven inches, and uh, that's seven inches. So you know, you may think, well, that's kind of small, but it's nice to have the small one. To get into tight spots. I, I know the one I had that just went bad. I think I got it at Walmart. $29. Uh, I go through these things like water. Like once a year. And you, you can see. There's a big difference in size. There's a big difference in size here. And well you know. It was a great machine. Sometimes it was kind of big. Okay. Uh, this, this one's a lot heavier. Okay. What I liked about this one, though, it came with this. You, and then all... Just set this up on your tool bench and then you would just plug this in here to charge it. That made it real nice. But uh, I don't think these would come off. So you, you couldn't really just snap on another battery. You might be able to, but uh, I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. I, I never did take it off, so I might be able to get a new battery. But for 20 bucks or so, it, it's just not worth it because these things go bad too. After a while, the, these will just lock up. Okay, so let's let's test this thing out here. This just slides on like this. And then to take this off, you pull down here. Okay. So let's try the power. Uh, before I forget, don't just throw out your old drill. Uh, I saw a paper hanging at Lowe's. Right at the front counter, you know, behind the... Uh, behind the uh, contractor desk and uh, 
they'll give you a trade in on your old drill. I think it was cobalt drill, but it was only for like a limited time. And I missed it by a couple months, but they probably won't run it like once a year. Okay, so these things, you, you can buy these by the five pack. There's different sizes. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to put this on 10, so that's full blast, see there, full blast, and let's see how strong this is here, do it like this, yep, that'll probably go into the table. So, you know, pre presuming it's fully charged, right? I'd say it has the same power as that one. I've used this one a lot. I don't know what this one is. This is 3.6 volt. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, I use this one a lot. So I kind of know the feel, you know. See, this is forward, this is reverse, forward, reverse, okay. Yeah, I'd say it, it's, it's the same power as the other one. Uh, that has to do with this stuff here. 20 volts. See how it says 20 volts max? You'll see all types of videos online. And uh, they're talking about the power 18 volts versus uh, 20 volts. And I guess most people say it's the same thing. The real test is a 4 inch screw. Yeah, 4 inch screws are rare. You know, these are used, they're kind of crooked, so we'll see how they do here. Well, before we do that one, let's do a 3-inch screw. Let's see how a 3-inch screw goes. Oop. I guess I guess that's pretty good. Right? Okay, let's see if it can handle a four-inch screw. That one's kind of stripped, but uh, that's not going to work for being stripped. Let's see how it does with the three and a half. That, that's why you buy these by the five pack because these threads all, or uh, these uh, notches always go bad. <laughs> I'm not having any luck at all. Okay. Okay, well, the point is it's the same power. Okay. I'd say. The smaller one's a little harder to use you know, compared to this this big guy. You know. See how that one the the head's all filed down. So that's why you just buy them by the five pack.
let's see if this one has to see this one still works but this the, this button broke here uh, it's nice it's nice to buy these kits it's nice because you get these things you know main thing with these is you're constantly switching if you're doing a job first you're putting a drill in and then, and then you're putting one of these in you know this way if you do this then you can grab one of these see how there's all all these different sizes or all the different size screws then you just pull back on this okay and that's locked that's locked in place and then when you need to drill a hole you just pop that out pop one of these in okay that's kind of hard to handle it's kind of awkward because it's really long but if you're switching back and forth constantly it definitely helps now, i did have one of these come loose you know this, that must just be glued down inside there so they have those and then they have these too i think these are just magnetic where it just kind of holds that yeah. Yeah. then you can pull that out and slip in your drill bit okay so it seems kind of silly seems kind of expensive but if, if you catch them on sale grab it you know and then there's also things like like that it's just smaller and then there's small little things it kind of looks like this but it's called a nut driver there's different sizes so it fits different size nuts see like here I have a nut driver taped on taped on my paint stir this is a husky paint stir from a uh, Home Depot but it wouldn't fit on my drill so I had to I had to uh, put a nut driver on it so it would fit in my drill and uh, it just got to be a pain always trying to hunt it down so I just taped it on here falls off okay so like here see and then that would fit on one size nut and you can buy those in a package like five different sizes or so okay so just to show you what I'm talking about see like here's different sizes see that would fit right in there see if you're putting in long long screws into a 4x4 four four or something it's almost impossible to get those in with a, a wrench so we, you would use something like this on your your drill okay. and there's all different sizes small ones big ones they're nice to have around uh, this one this wouldn't fit on here because that end is too big so no matter how so even if I so even if I opened up that the whole way it still wouldn't fit so what I had to do was put this on here and then put this in there 
so I'm curious if this will open up, but no, no, I doubt it. That would really have to open up the, the whole way. It, it might make it, let's see here. Yeah, just, just barely. I could probably force it, but it might break it. So it's going to be the same, the same thing here. So let's see, I put this on here. Then put this in here. And then I can, then I can stir, I, I can stir, I can stir my paint. Okay. So these will work on bolts, you know, screws, or nuts. See that that would fit a nut. See, I, I think they call them nut drivers. Let's see one last thing. Here's the battery for my weed whacker. Oh, this is the same size, 20 volt. I never even noticed that. I never paid much attention. So it looks like it might fit uh, the locking mechanism is different though. Oh wait, no, it's the same. I, I don't know. So it, it looks like it would work. But uh, I don't want to chance it and short it out. I'm sure it would probably work. It looks like the same thing. It's nice to have extra batteries. You know, you're out working on something, and all, and all your batteries go out. So, okay. Uh, this thing here, like if you're putting in a screw into uh, something delicate, you know. It, it barely turns now. See? See, that's not that's not going around now. Because it would bottom out, you know. And then it wouldn't it wouldn't damage the wood that you're screwing into. See? Okay. Uh, one more thing here. I, I got some notes. I watched a few videos on this stuff. So it's a cordless power tool. And, you know, my first thing was, uh, what's the difference between the 18 and 20 volts? Uh, basically, from what I've seen, there is no difference. It was basically just a marketing tool. But... I guess some of the companies, when you go from 18 to 20, the battery size is different. You know, one 18 volt battery won't snap on to a 20 volt. So that's why they did it. And some people say the internal power is the same. But what they found was when they tested these, when they tested the 18 volt, it still went up to over 20. So they started selling them as 20s. But uh, it's up to you how you want to deal with that. Uh, there's new power tools out. They call them brushless. And those are supposed to be the new and improved thing. Inside here, there's no brushes. Those are supposed to be the powerful ones, but I think they're like a hundred bucks or so. They're a lot more expensive than a twenty dollar drill. These are nice around the house, wear and tear. You don't have to worry about breaking it. You know. So, from what I can see, though, as far as we're concerned, eighteen volt versus twenty volt, more power, more speed, more time. And one comment I read, it said 25% increase.
uh, what I was talking about earlier what I was saying earlier was it says 18 volt but when they test it you know electronically it will actually go up to 20 something so they decided to start marketing them as 20 and one comment I read the person said it's just like a car a car is called 12 volt but like when it runs it can go up to 14.4 like uh, I've noticed that with my radar detector when I first turned the car on it's way above 12 you know, it, it, it reads like 13.4 or something like that you know so it's not exactly 12 volt okay so that's for the text to worry about as far as we're concerned you know make sure you get some type of cordless drill for around the house now, I usually just leave it sit on here full power and then as you're drilling and screwing things in you know, uh, it really comes in handy most of the time I just buy the one size bit that fits these screws because that's what I work with most of the time I forget the size number if you just ask the guys at the department store they'll tell you which ones to buy and I think it says right on the package of screws so it just depends on what size screw you're, work you're working with but these kits it's got all the different sizes but nine times out of ten you're just working with like a standard screw yeah there's something different too a star bit so that's where something like this would come in there might be some stars in there maybe not nope they're just small little flatheads That one's close, but I think it would probably strip it. My experience is these uh, these plastic kits they're kind of expensive and they never really work right. So you should just take all these little plastic inserts out and keep the box. Okay. So that looks like the right size for those screws. Okay, so I thought I had a full pack around here. I usually just buy these. It's number twos. So you get five of them, try to catch them on sale. Buy as many as you can. They always come in handy. Don't buy the cheapies, you know, at the store because they strip really fast. Where these might last a little while. And uh, see that size that fits these uh, deck screws. Okay. So. It would be nice if that light came on I don't know if you can see that it would be nice if they had a little button you could turn that light on and then you could and then you could put the screw on you know because if you're trying to drill something how how do you see it you know it's dark once the drill is moving, it doesn't really help much, you know, because you, you can't really start the drill and, and then put it on the screw. That don't help much, you know. So, I've tried to do it. It don't work. Okay, and 
like I said, you know, if you use them a lot, they only last about a year. So when you see them on sale, see them on Amazon, deal the day, buy it. That way when yours goes bad, you got you got a new one ready to go. Okay, see ya. Bye.